Hey brothers and sisters, God bless each and every single one of you. It's Hunter's Point here with another video. Did not think I'd be doing something today. Obviously, I, I don't ever really do videos this late, but uh, Sister in Christ Rachel has linked me an article off of BreakingIsraelNews.com, and I know uh, Sister Sealed by the Blood has also been making this article known, and I believe Pastor Tim's doing an update on it right now, so I figured I'd cover it. In an interview with Chamel News on Thursday, Israel's health minister, Yaakov Litzman, was asked what he's doing to stop the growing coronavirus pandemic in Israel. Litzman responded, reminding the Israeli people to wash hands, social distancing, you know, no gatherings of 10-plus people, just mainly common sense stuff. The minister added that if the people don't comply, it will be problematic. He also added that God is watching over us. Uh, as the head of an ultra-Orthodox party, references to God are to be expected. But when asked about the chances of Israel continuing to be under complete shutdown until the Passover holiday, Litzman offered a rather unconventional response, saying, God forbid, we are praying and hoping that Mashiach, Messiah, will arrive before Passover, as it is a time of our redemption. Um, I am sure that the Messiah will come before Pesach, and save us the same way God saved us during the Exodus, and we were freed. The Mashiach will come and save us all. So here's here's the thing. They think that they're looking for the Messiah. Unfortunately, their Messiah, as they see it, isn't Jesus Christ. They're actually looking for the Antichrist. You know, they do not believe that Jesus is their Messiah. And if you read the Word of God, it clearly Jesus Christ was the Son of God and He is the Messiah. So, you know, when, when the Jews say that they're looking for the Messiah, unfortunately it isn't Christ. You know, uh, there are passages in Daniel chapter 7, Daniel chapter 11 that talk about the uh, Messiah that the Jews are looking for, a.k.a. the man of lawlessness. Uh, that has been obviously prophesied. So when you read the book of Daniel, and I'm going to go to Daniel right now, chapter 11, verse 36, it ta and I'm going to read King James, that's usually my version. And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself, and magnify himself above every god, and shall speak marvelous things against the god of gods, and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished. For that that is determined shall be Done. And then I'm also going to read Daniel chapter 7, verse 25 right now. And he, their quote-unquote Messiah, the Antichrist, the, the, the man of sin, the son of perdition, the man of lawlessness, Daniel 7, 25, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his land until a time and the times and the dividing of time. I believe that's three and a half years. It goes into the seven-year tribulation period. But I wanted to bring that to your all's attention. Uh, it's pretty late, but I, I wanted to make sure I at least made a comment here. Um, I want to give the gospel before I go. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It's that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the gospel. That is the good news that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, right? The Bible says that we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. I believe that's Romans 3.23. So just understand that uh, we are living in very unprecedented, uh, perilous times. It's as simple as that. But we are not given the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind, 2 Timothy 1.7. So just understand we're going to continue to see big things like this, and I think it's funny that uh, the Jews are now saying that they're expecting their Messiah you know, before Passover. And in my heart, the past couple days, God's really laid it on my heart something about Passover, and I wasn't sure what it was. But if Passover is a time of redemption, I think we, the church, the bride of Christ, are about to get our redemption. Jesus is about to come back. So believe on the gospel if you haven't. When you believe on the gospel, the nanosecond you do it, you're saved and sealed until the day of redemption, it's Ephesians 4.30, and that you're saved by grace through faith and not works so that no man may boast. 
Ephesians 2, 8, 9. It's by grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone. That is how you get the free gift of salvation. So I wanted to speak on this, and thank you to Sister Rachel for bringing this to my attention. I will see you all tomorrow, should the Lord tarry. Otherwise, God bless you all. Good night.